<gasps> yes! 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 Dang it! <laughs>I wanted to discuss the premiere episodes of Ollie's Pack. From following the series throughout the week, I can tell it's a strong entry into the Nicktoons family. Its animation is appealing enough, but the color palette is particularly satisfying. Take note of our main trio's hue spread among them. The stories and situations Ollie finds himself in aren't too remarkable, but it's dialogue and character interactions that carry the series and his adventures forward. From the first scene, I was pleasantly surprised with how refreshing the scripting was. Though going through similar conflicts, I felt like everyone spoke and acted from a much more grounded, relatable place than what I was used to seeing from animation's modern protagonists. Seeing these guys have more honest conversations amidst wacky monster hijinks is a sight to see. I'm sorry, pal. I didn't mean to mess with your mojo. I just wanted to be a part of all this, you know? All this majesty. I get it, see that Guys, you're on! Go away! <laughs> in my opinion, is the cornerstone of Nick's current design philosophy, featuring real kids in unreal situations. Now, that probably sounds like an obvious conclusion to come to. In almost every Nickelodeon production, kids are at the center. They're either the young protagonist stuck in fairly grounded or fairly whimsical premises, or they're just childlike at heart. The latter would be illuminated through the main trios from Cat Scratch, Rocco, and the duo and a half from Spongebob. The latter's main character was pushed into an educational environment by the executives at Nick who wanted him to have more relatable elements, and at Hillenburg's behest, their compromise was putting him in boating school. Hey y'all, come look at this. 